Buffalo. Alan, I know it's late, but something awful's happened. What happened? The cargo ship that was carrying Professor Vambury's collection has disappeared into the sea. I'm sorry, Alan. I've just been informed that the lab that manufactured your drugs has decided to discontinue production. Uh, I guess it's not profitable enough. Basically, you're right. But we- Don't waste your breath, Doctor. We both know that without this treatment, I won't last long. Ellen, I think that you should come to our treatment center. There's no way I'm doing that. I've lived my whole life with this illness that's destroying my blood. I know what's in store for me. Anemia, fatigue, dizziness, nightmares, hallucinations, and a lot more. But I want to have a normal life until the very end. I understand. Take this drug pack. It's my last one. If you change your mind, just tell me. Thanks, Doctor. Ellen, remember the shipwreck that killed Professor Vanbury and sank 15 paintings from his collection? The ones he was supposed to hand down to us? Of course. Well, apparently, one of the paintings resurfaced in Budapest in an auction catalog. I want you to go there to check its authenticity. The Vambury Collection. This is an enormous loss for the museum. Some of these paintings were worth millions of dollars, despite their morbid nature. Hello, Inspector Laszlo? Yes, that's me. Hello. You are the expert from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Yes, I'm Ellen Cross. I've come to examine the painting you found. I'm very happy to welcome you to Budapest, Miss Cross. The painting is on the easel. That wasn't exactly what I needed. This time, there's no doubt at all. This is really Turner's Whitby painting that Professor Vambury bequeathed to the museum. Well, you look like you've come to a conclusion, right? Yes. This is definitely an authentic Turner painting. You must be relieved. If this painting survived the shipwreck, it could mean that the other works in the collection might be out of water's way. It will probably be difficult to locate the other works. Thieves are usually more careful. If you're done with the painting, you'll have to wrap it, seal it, and put it in the safe. I will have to stay here during all of that, but you are the one who will do it. Sure. First I'll have to protect it and affix the seals.
This is the man who was in possession of the painting. Do you think I could meet him? I shall think about it. Technically, I can't let you. And you didn't record his testimony? No, he didn't want to tell us anything. However, the prison guard says that Friedland talks in his sleep. I had microphones set up in his cell in case they could turn out to be useful. But the track is damaged and inaudible. If you don't mind, I can see what I can do with it. The technician who is supposed to take care of it is sick, so if you could speed things up, I am not refusing. And I'll see if Friedland wants to meet you. Who knows, maybe he'll tell you a bit more than he tells my guys. This is the recording that you made in the suspect's cell? Yes. work. Oh, Prince of Exile, you who have been wronged, and who vanquished, always rise up again, more strong. Laszlo must have something to take care of. This is my one and only chance to take a look at Friedland's record. I'm afraid that you won't be able to talk to him. Friedland has just died. What happened? I think he committed suicide, but there are some disturbing details. Can I come in? Yes, you can come in, but don't touch anything. I am warning you, it is not a pretty sight. Oh, I see. Can't say that he'll be resting in peace. In all of my 20 years on the job, 
I have never seen a cadaver with such a terrified look. Inspector, look! I know he has a tattoo. Lots of men who have been to prison have tattoos. Sure, but I think that this tattoo is really minimalist. Maybe it is some gang symbol. A sign that he was part of a gang? This is just a guess. Not all tattoos have special meanings. Look, it seems as though he rubbed the soap on an abrasive surface. Maybe it was the wall. It's in rough cast. I agree. But why would he have done that? To write or draw something. We'll need dark powder to check. There is fingerprint powder and a spray in the cupboard in the hallway. I'll go get them. Here is the key. Uh, can you grab a camera too? Sure. It's locked. Comfortable, Inspector. Don't pretend to be modest. You're photogenic. It looks like Friedland used the soap here. Yon Hogi Megol Yon? Do you know what that means? He's coming to kill me. It's in Hungarian. That does not make things any easier for me. Thank you very much. Without your help, I probably wouldn't have even seen the message. That certainly does complicate things. You're right. And it makes the murder theory plausible again. But none of that is relevant to you. The painting is authentic, so you have completed your mission. Inspector, if you'll allow me, I'd like to call my boss before leaving. Of course. Go ahead. I'm sure he wants to hear the Turner news. Exactly. Thank you so much for helping. Good luck with the rest of the investigation. It was nice meeting you, Miss Cross. If I discover something new about the Vambury Collection paintings, I will let you know. What are the disturbing details? Just a few minutes before Friedland's death, all the security cameras in the police station stopped working. That is worrying. You either need to heavily invest in some new equipment, or someone here shut off the video system. Who do you think could have frightened Freeland? I have no idea. Maybe an accomplice or some disgruntled person who commissioned this. But in a police station of all places, that is too much. I agree. And why didn't he cry for help? It looks like he wrote that knowing that he was doomed to die. I've restored the tape that you recorded in Friedland's cell. He said that he failed in his duty Mentioned an approaching shadow and a master who wants his mirror. That is interesting. But since he's dead now, that won't be very useful for us anymore. 
The last sentence rings a bell. O oh, Prince of Exile, you who have been wronged, and who vanquished, always rises up again more strong. Does that sound familiar to you? No, but it does sound like poetry. You're right, it sounds like Baudelaire. I don't feel good. I didn't take my medicine because I forget to with the jet lag. Metropolitan Director's Office, yes? Hello, it's Ellen Cross. Hello, Ellen. So, how did the authenticating go? Very well. It's definitely a Turner painting. That's great news. Someone took possession of the painting before the ship sank. So, we might be able to get hold of it again. Right. But right now, the Hungarian police doesn't have any clues that could lead us to the other paintings. Oh, don't worry. That'll happen sooner or later. But, for the time being, I have another mission for you. Vambury's assistant found some disturbing information. The professor apparently sent an extra painting. That was unexpected. But he can't tell us which painting it was exactly. I'd like you to go to Whitby, to Vambury Manor. You might find something there that can help us identify which painting this is. I'll take the first flight out to London and contact you when I arrive. Vambury Manor. Hello, I'm Ellen Cross from the Metropolitan. You must be the professor's former assistant. I'm Adam Stoker. Welcome to Vanbury Manor. I've been told that one of the missing works has been found. Is that right? Yes, it's wonderful news. The paintings were most likely stolen before the ship sank. That means we could actually find the other paintings sooner or later. The director told me that you have information on one of the pieces of the collection. Absolutely. I looked through the professor's documents. They indicate that he was to send 16 paintings, not the 15 paintings we originally thought. But I don't have any information on this painting in particular. It would be easier if you look at the list yourself. It's on Vanbury's desk on the second floor. But you probably want to get settled first. The late professor's bedroom is the first door on the right on the second floor. You'll like it. There's a wonderful view. I'm just across the hall, but I promise I won't bother you. Thank you very much, Mr. Stoker. Call me Adam. All right, Adam. I'll settle down and look at the list of the paintings. Stoker. Are you related to Bram Stoker? Yes, he was my great-grandfather. Is your coming to Whitby just a coincidence? To tell you the truth, not really. If my great-grandfather hadn't chosen this place to give birth to Dracula, I might never have come here. But I mostly came for the opportunity to work with Professor Vanbury. I understand. He was a great collector. He was very interested in your great-grandfather's work. And in everything supernatural, actually. Since you know the professor very well, do you know why he wanted to bequeath his collection to our museum in particular? He didn't have any heirs. And I think he knew your director, and liked his work. 
I think that his passion for painting started to wane with time, too. I see. Oh, one more thing. I have to give some paperwork to the notary public who's taking care of the professor's inheritance. In case you want to call me, I've left the notary's number near the telephone. Great, thanks. This is an old phonograph for listening to recordings on wax cylinders. I need a container. I need a container. I already have enough of this. I already have enough of this. Maybe Vambury had something to be worried about. Adam has set himself up here. I shouldn't be rummaging in here. see the details here, but this model is wonderful. Wow. Weird. It's strange you can only see this compass rose from the mezzanine.
Adam was right. The last work is not on my list. The work doesn't have a name, but it's the only work that does have a reference number. A307. That might be a call number for a book. This is where I should find the book labeled A307. I hope that the two books have just switched places. Hmm, I can't be that far off. A guide to building model ships. Maybe Vambury made models. F405. Well, that looks like a new call number. This slide projector looks like it works.
Vladovist. Oh, that sounds familiar. 2517. Vambury definitely wrote these numbers down for a reason. All the call numbers here begin with E. This is where all the call numbers beginning with F are. Hmm, I must be getting closer. This is where all the call numbers beginning with F are. Hmm, I must be getting closer. It looks like the shelves are numbered from top to bottom. Huh, at least I figured that one out. Dracula by Bram Stoker. I need the key. Bembury really had a lot of secrets. I have to find a way to light up this room. I'll have to change the fuses. I'll have to change the fuses. I'll have to change the fuses. I'll have to change the fuses.
watching is oppressive. I feel that it's watching my every move. I'm sure that he can see me. I don't know how my father could keep it so close to him all those years. As much as I hate it, I can't bring myself to destroy it. My father was convinced that this painting would bring about his downfall. Apparently, the Metropolitan Museum is interested in some paintings from my collection. If I give them the portrait, it will probably end up gathering dust in their vast reserve collection. And wouldn't that be the best hiding place? Lose it in a mass of other far more famous works. He won't think of looking for it there. And I'll finally be at peace. If I can trust this recording, the mystery painting is a portrait. A very special one. But I'm not sure if I can trust the professor's reasoning anymore. The professor must have spilled his ink bottle. It's illegible. But I think I can make a solution to remove the stain. This letter is probably about the tomb of Vanbury's parents. Writing to you, you'll have to start the paperwork for renewing the burial plot of your parents, the Wamburgers, soon. There's something different about the manor. I don't remember seeing this statue. I could go take a look at it. The entrance of the manor. The library. Vanbury had to monitor access to his secret office. The entrance of the manor. The hallway, the entrance of the manor, the library. Vanbury had to monitor access to his secret office. The image is too small. A storage room or a vault. Professor Vanbury's collection might be even larger than we thought. Requiem aeternam dona eis, domine et lux perpetua luciat eis. Adam might have an idea about where this engraving is. Metropolitan Director's Office, hello? Hello, Ellen Cross speaking. Hello, Ellen. So, how is your stay in Whitby going? Very well. I can confirm that Vanbury wanted to send an extra painting to the museum. It was a portrait that was supposedly painted by someone named Kanayek. The professor seemed to be particularly attached to this painting. Kanayek? Uh, that doesn't ring a bell. But I'll do some research. What do you mean by particularly attached? It's complicated. I found a recording where he talks about the painting. He sounded like he was scared of it. What on earth are you trying to say? Apparently his father handed this painting down to him. 
He kept it a secret. He was convinced that someone was coming to take it away from him. I know it sounds crazy, but the professor was an old man and... And you think that he was losing his mental faculties? I knew Vanbury very well, and I don't think that he went senile. He was definitely on the eccentric side, but not senile. Find this painting. I'm sure that we'll understand better afterwards. All right. I'll contact you as soon as I have some news. Dr. Henderson's office? How may I help you? Hello, this is Ellen Cross. Could I talk to Dr. Henderson, please? Oh, hello, Miss Cross. She has an appointment now. Could I take a message for you? No, that's fine. I wanted to know if there were any new developments about my treatment, but I'll try calling again later. Sure. Have a nice day. It's too high. The lock is jammed. And the lock is jammed. This tomb is not well maintained. I can't read what's behind all of this plant growth. The tomb of the professor's parents. One of the cameras monitored a Latin sentence engraved in the stone. Maybe it's the epitaph on their tomb. I need the key.
This is definitely the engraving I saw on the surveillance cameras. He must have had a good reason for monitoring this spot.
Too hard. I'll never make it.
an ossuary. The cemetery must have been built on an old Celtic burial ground. Grab a strip of cloth. I'll have to cut it. Oh, great. I need something else to light my way. Otherwise, I won't be able to explore this tomb gallery. A vault. I'm sure that Vambury monitored the inside of this room from his office.
is definitely the room I saw on the surveillance cameras. A bust of Vlad Tepes. I get the creepy feeling that someone's watching me. There's something sick about this manor. I already have enough of this. I'm locked in. Adam will never come look for me here. I'll have to sort things out myself. Oh, I don't feel good. This is not a good time to faint. I've got to take some medicine. Garlic, a crossbow, and silver arrows. Real anti-vampire gear. Vanbury's passion for the Dracula story was more intense than I would have ever imagined. Dissertations upon the apparitions of angels, demons, and ghosts. He was really obsessed. How could a professor like Vanbury believe that such beings existed? Dissertations upon the apparitions of angels, demons, and ghosts. He was really obsessed. How could a professor like Vanbury believe that such beings existed? No, I should put the explosive in the right place before setting it off. <laughs> if there's another exit, it's probably behind this wall. If I can't slip the explosive in between the stones, the explosion won't bring the wall down. There's enough room to slip the explosive in between the bricks. It looks like the opening really does lead to the inside of the manor, but it's too narrow for me to slip through it.
This is one of the few sculptures that the professor had. I don't think it's worth very much. Is that you? Ellen? What on earth is going on here? I heard an explosion. I had to blast the wall of your bedroom to get out of a vault that Vanbury installed under the cemetery. I really thought I was never going to get out of there. Get your breath back first, then tell me about it in the library. We'll be more comfortable there. What you've just told me is unbelievable. You're really something, Ellen. I was working for Vanbury for months, but I didn't have the faintest idea that there was this secret room and this vault. To tell you the truth, I would have never imagined that he was so passionate about Dracula. And I don't know why he would be so obsessed about him. The missing portrait, the 16th painting, it's a clue related to his paranoia. He recorded a tape where he talks about an evil relic that he had to keep secret, as if it were a burden to him. You don't think that it was a portrait of Dracula, do you? Vanbury was afraid that the man in the portrait would come for the painting. Seeing that he has crossbows and silver stakes stored under the cemetery, it really gets you thinking. I found an old wax cylinder in the vault. Maybe it's connected to the painting. There's a phonograph downstairs. You should be able to listen to it. Meanwhile, I'll take a look at the vault. It looks like it's in working order. I should be able to listen to the wax cylinder that I found in the vault. There's no sound. I must have forgotten something. November 1870. I have just come back to Budapest. Exhausted and no longer have the strength to write. I shall therefore dictate this journal to stamp in my memory the tragic events I experienced in Vladoviste. My struggle with Dracula concluded in a stalemate. The Count will certainly not come after me in Budapest, but I had to flee far from his land. If I were to return, I'd be immediately arrested as an accomplice to murder. In his Transylvanian stronghold, Dracula is untouchable. His will is law, and no one disobeys him. He does occasionally change his hunting ground, for he is hungry for new prey. That is the reason he bought a house in Budapest. Fate caused him to choose as his notary, my friend Bjorn Hartner then to desire his wife and take flight with her. But Jon, they set out in pursuit of the accursed couple. I quickly understood that the Count was drawing Luciana onto the path of the dragon. By an engagement present, he wanted to offer her eternity. They followed the lovers from city to city. But unfortunately, we were always one step behind them. And when, at last, our long chase led us to Vladoviste, we didn't even have time to enter the Count's castle before the horror struck us. We were staying at the inn. My room communicated with yours. In the night, I heard Luciana's voice calling out to her husband. My friend, neither ignoring, or rather, refusing to accept what his wife had become, he invited her up to join him. His imprudence might be fatal. Luciana would have let her husband die 
If I had a tentamine, I better down the door between our rooms and pierce the vampire's heart. I urge John to leave the inn immediately, but he remained prostrate and refused to follow me. As I had feared, my friend was arrested and indicted for the murder of his wife. I learned he died in his cell. The papers spoke of suicide, but I discern in his death the work of the Count, whose influence extends into the prison. Prudence obliged me to return to Budapest as quickly as possible. I forced myself, nonetheless, to visit Luciana's grave and deal with her corpse according to the ritual. I didn't want to leave without the absolute certainty that she'd lie in eternal peace. As for her master and lover, Count Dracula, I admit that I shrunk back from him. Others will come, I hope, to resume the combat. It is for them that I preciously conserve my archives on the path of the dragon. For me, the fight is over. I can't believe it. The note on the side of the cylinder says that the professor's grandfather made the recording. I'm starting to understand why he was so obsessed with Dracula. He was brought up in a vampire-fearing environment, and he grew up with the enormous burden of having to keep a portrait of the vampire secret. The more I discover, the more surreal this whole story becomes. But I would be immensely disappointed to leave the investigation before actually seeing the painting. A Cytail. It's a system that deciphers messages written on strips of paper. Cytails have been used since ancient times. Yannick Tev Kif Han S Okak seven three four one ten Fati Istanbul Yannick Tev Kifan Sokak seven thirty four one ten Fati Istanbul. It looks like an address in Istanbul. This Yannick might be Frieden's accomplice. Metropolitan Director's Office, hello. Hello, it's Ellen Cross. Ellen, so... What's the update? I haven't gotten a hold of the portrait, but I have made some disturbing discoveries. Vanbury was totally paranoid. He installed a vault underneath the cemetery adjacent to the manor. Inside, I found a real Vlad Tepes museum. Living in the town of the Dracula novel ended up getting to him. Poor guy. And I found information on the painter Kanayek. He was a 16th century Istanbul artist. I haven't found any mention of his works. However, my assistant tells me that through the centuries the name Kanayek became Yannick. Yannick? Oh, I can't believe it. Friedland, the Budapest prisoner, had an encoded message in his belongings. I managed to decipher it. It's the address of someone named Yannick in Istanbul. Ellen! Have you ever been to Turkey? No. Well, here's your opportunity. Go and pay a visit to this man. If he's a descendant of the painter, Kanayek, he might be able to give you information on the portrait. Also, try to get more information on his connection with Friedland, but be careful. Very well.
I have to go to Istanbul. We might have found a man from the Kanayak family. Kanayak is the painter who painted the portrait. Budapest, Whitby, and now Turkey. And to think that I thought that working for museums was really boring. From the time I've known you, I've had nothing but surprises. I would have preferred to visit Istanbul under different circumstances. The man I have to meet there might have been in contact with the thief who died in Budapest. That's a disturbing coincidence. Kaniac's descendant could thus be an accomplice in the Vambury collection robbery. That's possible. And if it turns out to be true, I'll have to be careful. I would have liked to be your escort, but I have to stay here until the professor's inheritance is settled. But I would be really happy if you could keep me posted on this affair. I will. Take care of yourself, Ellen. You too, Adam. Yannick? Apparently there's no one here. This looks like Lilith, a painting by John Collier. It was part of the Vanbury collection. Who <gasps> let you in? Sorry, I asked if anyone was inside. The door was ajar and I thought that... You must be Mr. Yannick. Sorry for intruding. I am Mr. Yannick. I'm Ellen Cross. I work for the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. I'd like to speak with you. You could have phoned before just showing up at my place without asking. I didn't have your number. I'm looking for a Kanaic painting. The information I have says that he was one of your ancestors. A very distant one. I was hoping that you might have some of the works he painted. Unfortunately, I don't. Does this name sound familiar to you? You said Friedlin. And why would I know him? It's not important. But you've come all the way here to find out, right? You look really feverish all of a sudden, Miss Cross. I'm tired. Probably because of my flight. I, I realize that you can't help me. Sorry for bothering you. I'll bet that the painting I saw in his studio is the John Collier original. He was about to leave. I could take advantage of his departure to take a look at the painting. But first, I need to find a place hidden from view where I can wait until his departure. That's probably Yannick, leaving his place. I hope he didn't see me come in.
painting is fresh, but there's something that looks like a pattern under this red layer. This looks like one of Vambury's Bruegel paintings. Yannick disguises stolen paintings. But who does he work for? Yannick must be making a puppet. of this theater are fascinating. I'll have to restore the puppet to figure out what this theater can do. This arm should do the trick. I'll just have to paint and cut it now.
perfect. I need the last puppet. Without the authentication certificate, I can't be completely sure, but I do think that it's the original. I should be able to access the attic from there. I should be able to access the attic from there. Yannick's a lot more dangerous than I thought. Better not hang around here too much longer. I should gather some evidence so the police can take me seriously. Yet another wrist tattoo. But it's a dragon this time. The Metropolitan Stamp and the reference number of the Vanbury Collection's last painting. 
Seeing how complex the lock system is, this chest may very well contain the portrait that absolutely terrified the professor. The one we've been after all this time. If I can only bring back one painting, it will be that one. Too early to go back to the hotel. I still have things to discover here. It's empty. Yannick must have gone through his pockets before I came around. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the police. I heard some noise. That must be Yannick. I can't have him find me. Lucky the attic's not that high off the ground. That was a narrow escape. I'll have to tell the police and the museum about it as soon as possible. Istanbul Emergency Services. All our lines are busy now. Please try calling again later. Metropolitan, hello? Hello, it's Ellen. Yannick is definitely involved in the painting theft. I've found several Vambury collection paintings at his place. That's great news. There was also a corpse at his place. We have to tell the Turkish police about this as soon as possible. No, wait a second, Ellen. Calm down. So, there was a corpse. But how did you get into Yannick's place? You're better off not knowing. All right, but if you broke into the scene of a crime, you might be stuck in Istanbul for as long as the investigation lasts. Do you have evidence to back you up? Yes, I took photos and picked up a chest. I think the last painting of the collection is inside. The portrait of Dracula? You haven't seen what's inside, and you're already as obsessed with this painting as the professor was. I hope the painting won't disappoint you. Until then, don't tell the authorities. I'll tell them as soon as you're on the plane for New York. We can't have you and this chest held up for months because of this murder tale. 